Oh, we had a bite there. Back. I used back. We get him. Eventually, must be hungry. I think we're on another one. Another one. I knew there was one. This is the thief. Take it. Take it. So today we're going to do a bare essentials kind of day. We're going to go two split shots, a hook, and I've dug up a few worms here. Keep moving. Hopefully we have a successful day today. Starts with a big juicy one, and we're very hopeful. We should be lucky today. At least catch a few things. This fella has a bit of life. Be a good presentation. We're just going to slightly tread him through the eye, and then back down over the hook. Right, so we're off to the race. All we have is two split shots, worm, and obviously our reel. I think it's on five pound fluorocarbon. Let's do it. I think one thing I learned after the last day is that stealth is definitely going to be our friend. Yeah, I don't have it in buckle hold, so really going to try to be a little bit better today. A little bit of overcasting. Besides that, we're in position. It's very clear today. Should be on to a good one. We seem to be in all the outlet. Look something anyway. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of a deposit there. I'm hoping on the other side of it, maybe nothing to see me or heard me more than likely. A few snags, all right. I don't know if I've spooked the whole thing, but I can't really see anything there today so far. The water has dropped a good amount since yesterday, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, we had a bite there. I think he's coming back. If he comes back at third time, we'll be lucky. Oh. Lock and load again, that was a hungry one. Okay, so we've packed it now with, with a few worms, a few smaller ones, so let's hope. He's still hungry. The boy. I don't know what it is, but they're just not hooking up back. I use back. We get him eventually. Must be hungry. I tell you, getting a few chances. I think we're on this time. Oh, this is a much nicer fish. Giving us a bit of a fight here as well. Ah oh, yes, winner, winner. Nice little brown trout. Ah, oh, beautifully, beautifully hooked. Good. Say hello. What a beautiful, oh, he's gone. Almost. See you later, buddy. Quick and easy. I'm telling you, just back to basics, lads. Don't know what else to tell you, but All right, we're gonna load back up again. Same again, hopefully. Another one down there waiting for us. So we're locked and loaded with a few more worms on there. Hopefully we haven't spooked anything too close to this pill. Let's see. I'm just hoping there's a bit of a barge there, sand barge, where the water is breaking slightly. We had a bite there. Yeah. Another one. A little a smaller guy. But look, we won't be picky. I'm just gonna wet my hand up. Grab. This tiny little fella. Hooked on the lip. That's really what you want to see. He gets a bit of a meal as well, look. Have that bud. Off you go. Lock and load again, I suppose. Got another load of worms on. I'm hoping I'm catching them high enough up in the stream that we're not gonna cause any hassle in the pools, let's say. So I'm only like very, very slowly and gradually working my way up. I'm not trying to do anything too quick. Um, I hope that gives me the best chance to get a few more. Can't see much movement. Maybe I'll go a little bit further out. Just letting that kind of current take it down to wherever it wants to light. Mm, a few taps. And we've got something. Another one. Could be his brother. Ooh, tiny guy. Shall look. Tree on the board. Oh, this fella. He's got a bit too hungry. Right, so we had a bit of hassle trying to get this out. He's got he's got a fairly down. He's quite small. He's I just don't want to rip his gullet. And um, the hooks are small enough, I think he's fine. I think he's gone back in. See you, buddy. Again, we're just hoping we haven't caused too much commotion in the hold. Make sure I'm releasing them on the back side of it. Hopefully it's just usual, something getting scarperish and they're not too pushed. The water is a bit deeper, a bit faster flowing. I think that's what saved me. I don't think they can actually see me as well as I can see their shadows, just with the turbulence in the water. 
but sure look we're gonna retoy here it just happens like I've, you really need to strike right getting them on the lip is the best sometimes they're just very finicky around the worm sometimes they have it in their mouth but it's until they guzzle it that you get them they seem to be sitting in the water so I just see them there just used to sitting on the field that's going to the bottom with no hassle we're just crushing the barbs here hopefully that just helps us get the hooks out the last lad was just very small finicky enough to get anything down to that I'm gonna go for a juicier lad now smaller packed worms definitely producing much smaller fish in any way we should be okay with them just like that put another one on just to cover the hook I'd say he should be juicy enough in any way we're in good shape here Trade that fella back down a little bit let's try to get another one so I've kind of fished the top part of it here the middle section here and around so i think we're gonna try the back section here now the next few casts and we'll head off then from here oh, we have a boy there and anyway did he do a runner with the bait still something there we may need to fix it if we want to keep it well they got the smaller one in anyway so that's obviously what the tugging is all right so we're gonna go back straight into that spot in and around and anyway once it hits the bottom and just reeling very very lightly till the line is a little bit tense for so hopefully it avoids some swallowing anything before they're back oh we've got a tap there Let's see if he comes back yeah got a few bites so nibbling stopping so I'm wondering if they have the bait now it's hard to know I think you're not gonna catch anything if the bait's gone it's just sitting in there whatever it is he wants just a little bit unsure. Maybe I caught him before. Maybe he remembers me. Maybe he's just teasing. Something around it. Ah, got it. Whatever it was. Right, lock and load again. We're definitely quite elusive at the moment. Peak too early, maybe. I'm just trying to find where they're actually sitting. Where I'm standing in the water is a little bit lower, clearer. So I'd imagine they can see me. They seem to have gone a little bit quiet at the moment. Ah, no wonder they've gone quiet. There's no such thing as bait on it. Right, so we're not going to spend much more time. Maybe a cast or two more. Then we're probably going to move on. That's a take. Just let it go. Or else he's got the one. I tell you, they're getting lovely free bait. Basically like baiting up an area. And all their friends are getting fed. So hopefully that starts a party. Everyone knows once there's free drink, loads of people show up. So two for the chew. Let's go. Tight lines and all that jazz. I felt like a tap. Throw back into the swell there. I think they're fairly fed up with me here at the moment. So we're going to go with my one last cast. Come on, you can do it. Definitely a few fish there, seeing that. Like a good boy. But with the train down, probably just got a free meal. I think at this rate, I'm just pulling it up just to make sure the bait's on. One last time. It's always one last time, isn't it? Now there has to be something in and around here. That's a fish. Uh, I knew it. I'm glad I didn't leave. I knew there was one more in here for us. I knew it with 129%. Oh, yes. Another lovely little brown. Thanks, buddy. Easy as hook off as well. Get you back, and we're moving on. Good luck. Whoa. Got a bite there. Ah, oh, we've lost the worms. Off the top there. It's gone with the worms. Ah, another free meal. Seems like I spend most of my day putting bait on. It's being robbed. We're getting bites. Got a few fish. Maybe a little bit more left in the session before we call it a day. But so far, so good. The water goes down that low. It's just kind of humid normally means we're gonna get a big spell again. We're back down here to that same hole. Yep, yeah, boy. Definitely getting bites. Oh, well, we're not gonna catch fish with no baiting anyway. There's something down there robbing the bait. Doesn't want to take it any more than that. I'm disappointed now. Just robbing all my bait. Except this one. At least stay consistent. Well, that's a bite. Definitely a bite. Yeah, we have something. I knew he was in there. Look at the size of him. He's only a small fella. Bait robber. This is the thief. Guess what? You're going to be a big fucker. Nicely on the lip there. And he's off. Best of luck, bud. I guess we were right and in the end we're gonna move maybe upstream a little bit more and probably call it a day right so we're actually gonna 
fish under this tree again, the one with all the nests. Hopefully we will be a little luckier today. Try to stay a little bit further back from the bank. Got a boy. Oh, he's a he's a lovely one. Now we get one. Another nipper, but sure look. Where our hands on the grass. Another nipper. Butcher, look, we knew there was something under the tree. So, he just got a little bit deeper in there, so nicely out at least. But I still had a buddy. Anyway, I'd say we're gonna keep moving. Well, it goes to show there is a mech behind that madness, and uh, board nests are probably a good indication that stuff's dropping into the water, as well as overhanging trees, I'd imagine. So I'd say it further extends than just that. So again, we just there's a deep hill here, just taking it to him, moving up into it. I'll try to get something under the trees there. Perfect. Got a bite already. He's had to make an off with the worm. He's come back. I need to bring it in now. I have to get a few nibble bits to see if he has uh, gone off the worms. Quick. Take one of the fatter lads as well. Get him on. Damn, I really hope that this is a success. Nice big juicy one, but whatever it wants it. We're not picky, we don't care about the size. I don't know if I've just spooked the hole, but down a little bit lower. I think we're going to try the other side of it. Just on the opposite side of that pool now, so it's a little bit more turbulent, so a little bit more wiggle room. Get that weight and bait out into the middle. Leave it, see. Put them on it. Take it. Take it. Take it. There's definitely something down here. Yeah, got something. Sitting in the. Ah, oh, he's just come off. Oh, just came off. He was definitely a nice one. Right, a few more worms. Hopefully he'll come back. Wasn't too much um, disturbance, let's say. Well, I really hope for this pill. I don't think I'm going to travel much further now today. Right, back in on that. I'll drift down, waiting for the hit and run. That's something biting anyway. Think about it. Well, he has it. It's something nibbling. So I'll have a bit of bait. Just something under there. The blank we had, it just it happens. But look. When they're, when they're biting in front of you, after having a day like that, you have to pick your rattles. Oh, I have to say, I've really enjoyed today now. A few little fish so far. Hopefully get something out of this pool. I'm going to go a little bit further up in it. Once again, we're loading back up. Something definitely ripped the last one. They're hungry, they're getting a free meal, as I was saying, so sorted. Oh, and again. There's a bite. You have them. Ah, oh, and he's off. We got so close there. So that's us for another day. And anyway, it's just gone after half twelve. I think. Good thing we had this. And anyway, yeah, we caught a few fish. We had only a couple of hours today, but we got out and about. We went minimal again, and it came up. So. Uh, the canal has definitely been a lot tougher than it has been before in previous years. Even changing up lures and things like that just doesn't seem to be around at this season. I'm not sure if I, I'll probably have to travel up or down the canal a little bit more to figure that side out. But right now, I think the small stream was producing that. Sure, look, we're not doing too bad. We've only had one miss so far. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying. And sure, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And sure, we'll see you on the next one.